Do you know a person who was taking that photo? Yamaz or Bay Tatali On page 47 of Exhibit S. Yamaz. Yamaz? No, I don't know him. Yet you were present when the photo was taken. I got a book on and I got a Tatali system. Mary Maz, I don't tell him what you are shoot. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. He didn't. He or she didn't tell me that he was taking the photograph, and I didn't know that I was being uh, photographed as well. I'm instructed by Mr. Mapisa that the person who was taking a photo was Mabongo Ndoli. Mabongo Ndoli is depicted <coughs> on page 23 of Exhibit S. What you get? Umangalo is in the Lomoto Bay Party Stone Ndoli. Then we are going to get off the page 23 here, exhibit S. Do you know a person who is depicted in that photo on page 23 of exhibit S, the one who is standing next to accused number three? Oh, Yamaz Domondo. Yamazi? Is it called Mengai? I don't know him. I will not uh, say anything uh, pertaining to that person. I'm instructed by the accused, that is accused number four, Mr. Mapisa, that that is Mapo Mondoli. Mapo Mondoli is a person who was taking a photo at page 47 of Exhibit S. Oh, man, let me say that. We are not on Mapo Mondoli. Oh, man, it was a man that always started. We are not going to be say page 47. Hello, can show you anything? I'm not going to start anything. I see this card. I'm going to learn. So, when is it going to be last? When is it shoot? I don't know as to when uh, was this photograph taken, at which stage. Therefore, I wouldn't even know um, who was the person that was taking the photograph. I wasn't aware that the photograph was being taken. I'm further instructed by accused number four that that photo was taken at Lasedi. They said he's in Fosnora's next to the said shopping centre in Fosnora's. To get a less of Tom Bessart, I talk on the Panaga, a Lisey, Gwenda is a Fosnora's, a said to Zega in the shopping centre, said said. Little Kosho among the lower scene. Nangs in Paul Limasso, as a Tato Bani, my epiphony. I wouldn't comment on it. I don't know who was taking this picture using which phone. I'm further instructed by the accused, that is accused number four, that on the day when that photo was taken, he had been there at Lesedi in Fosoras to visit the owner of the VW Polo, Liar, which is depicted on page 47 of Exhibit S, the Polo belonging to Ngamosa Gumete from Duba Duba. I don't know who the vehicle belongs to and who they had gone to visit at Lisedi or in Lisedi, so I cannot comment. I'm instructed by accused number four that you were not there, you were not at Lisedi when that photo was taken by Mabung Ndud. Oti umangalelo isine wenubunge kolapo ilisedi, ngengkati umabung Nduli e tatali sistombe. Page 47. Page 47. Page 47 of we not there. Yes. Is it uh, what accused number four says? Yes, those are my instructions. Oshon Jaloge Umangalela was saying, "Would we not bring a co? Uma bring my data list system. Is it lagu 47?" I was there, as you can see me um, in that uh, picture. Accused number four further instructs me that since you are saying in your evidence that the person who is cut, who is depicted wearing a, a brown uh, top, 
and a bound pair of trousers. That person is Mansezwane Kanyele, not you. Mansezwane Kanyele. Mansezwane Kanyele. What you don't want to get over the system of the land and lap, okay? We are getting over the system of the land and lap, okay? Actually, where now? Angas no mo piga mina mina kono changi ibon mina ya ibon ako tako. Are you are you questioning me and 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 saying that I don't see myself yet I can see myself? Is it correct that in your evidence in chief you told this court that the person who is standing behind the motor vehicle was accused number two before court? Ufagas baku ge lobo wa chela ge inkanto lugu tu manga delo ge lowest bin uye na ge over la pa mfawale moto ge katum sushi si ebuzi lebuzi ngabe guaba ibon ufagas baku njoo bangshi lugu tu angemboni gasi lugu tu bani ni nguazu kwenye kisiku tu bani as I have said that I cannot see who this person or I cannot clearly see who this person is therefore I cannot commit myself as to who this person is all right but I'm telling you now that you told this court in your evidence in chief that that person who is depicted there was accused number two in Gabagu it can so we're now a show and I don't get into the bosom because what you know I'm not gonna over the system I'm gonna say move on up of a gate on manga the law is being what show and I know in meaning show and I will go show you Umago tingo shilo ang kumbon tingo shilo. Kwa tingo azi, umago tingo shilo. Maybe kanga mbona ngo tu ban. Well, if I had said that it was accused number two, perhaps I didn't clearly see or I didn't see who that person was. But you said it without any hesitation that that person was accused number two. Kwa toa ge benga kukuun kabasa uma ushuti lona umanga lelo USB. Guzingzo shonjalo mshambe mangu bunge tabi kugi le. Bese ubo wote umang kumbola kasi koko wenga stora ngai kipisi umafi. Well, perhaps I ended up saying that because of what he was led with. However, he was not wearing a cap at the time of my arrival there. I could have said that. I'm instructed by the accused, that is accused number four, that that person who is standing behind the vehicle is himself. That is accused number four. And not accused number two. Is it the instructions of accused number four? Yes, that the person who is standing there behind the vehicle or on the side of the vehicle, mm. it's him that is accused number four. Oh, manga lelo we see ne utlo mundo o menga apa ngaze mo fawale o moto o uye o manga lelo we see ne uye no shonjalo. Ya chabulu tu ngabo ma utu shonjalo ya mkumbo sutoa eko na naishu. I'm happy if that is what he says because he is now reminding me that he was also there as well. He instructed me further that on that day he was wearing an Adidas cap. As we can see, that person is wearing a cap. He was wearing an Adidas cap. Adidas. 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 I cannot dispute that. Because even myself, I can see clearly that the person that is depicted in that picture is wearing an Adidas cap. So if he says that it was himself wearing the Adidas cap, I cannot dispute that. If he instructs me that he also had or wearing a Daniel Hedger jacket. Oti ube fage ne jacket ye Daniel Hedger. Okay. Okay. He also had a Daniel Hedger pair of trousers. Okay. 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 He also instructs me that he was wearing a Lacoste pair of boots. Okay. Okay. He instructs me that the person depicted with accused number three on photo, sorry, on page nine of exhibit S is himself in the company of accused number three, wearing the same clothing that I had. 
referred to. Oh, to get weird now, get. L'homme lisa get. Oh no, oh no, accuse on that thing. Pour les les hommes pas ça get. Et bien qui t'as là là. On photo nine. On photo nine là pour y avoir. I can see that it is not clear. Yeah, it's sorry. The clear photo is photo 175. It's at page, I'm sorry, at page 175. So you can go 175, you're still not getting stronger. This is of the... This photo, photo 175, it just form part of um, Exhibit S. Page 175 of Exhibit S is clear than the other pages. It says, when a photo on page 47 was taken by Mabung Ndudi, he was wearing the very same clothing that are depicted on page 175 of Exhibit S. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I can see that he's wearing the same uh, clothing items. I'm further instructed by accused number four, Mr. Mapisa, that he never traveled in an own motor vehicle or a VW Polo Ply, red in color. He, I'm instructed he, by my, Mr. Mapisa that he never traveled in an Uno motor vehicle or in a okay. VW Polo Ply, red in color. Okay. 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 If I, remember, if I remember well, I was told by yourself that, uh, or, or by you, that he is the one that is depicted in the picture who is standing behind that uh, red motor vehicle. But I think it is you who is not listening. What I said to you earlier on was that the person standing behind the video you call up liar is accused number four, Mr. Marquez. When I'm talking about Zonga, I think it's a woman to Ome and Vavale, a VW Polo player, Guya U Babu Mapis. He was there at Lesedi in Fosforas to visit the owner of the VW Polo player. Ube Lapo, a Fosforas Lapo, El Sedi, Ubio Varasalaga, Umni Nuale Moto, a VW player. Nalis Katimila. At the time he was now standing here as depicted in this picture. Yes, he was there on that day to visit the owner. Of the VW Polo Fly. He never traveled in the VW Polo Fly. Ube ko na la po kuta agazang aha be galayo moto gani. Ube 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 nge ko galayo moto. Uma i moto ge i drive ube nge ko e nga paratwa. Angazing i shofut na moting hambe na. I didn't even say that um, I was in the same company with him as we were traveling with his vehicle. So the, the person whom we referred as Mtogo, the brother of accused number four, is the one who traveled in that motor vehicle. Yes, the person traveled in that motor vehicle.
If you, if, if, if you remember well, I said that I will never remember, or I cannot remember all the people that I was in the company of. However, Mtogo was also there. When you were being cross-examined by my colleague, Advocate Nisi, you said there was Mtogo, accused number three, Gaza, the driver of the vehicle, and there was another occupant in the vehicle, and yourself. Is that what you said? You were showing Jalu, Guti, Begu, you were showing Jalu, Guti, Guakonage, Gaza, Gaza, Nabani, Nomtogo, Wabubu, Muni, Luaten, Axi, Opu, Dabu, Bangit, Nomtogo, Gandhi, Nomunye, Hawaii, and Apagati. Yes, yes, there was as well Mtogo as well, which he says that he is not uh, related to him. When that photo was taken, that is at page 47 of Exhibit S, where was Mtogo, the brother of accused number, sorry, where was Mtogo, the alleged brother of accused number four, when that photo was taken? I was not keeping an eye on everybody. I cannot tell as to who was doing what, who was talking to who. As it is uh, said, as I had said earlier, that um, I don't, I don't even know who took the pictures and um, at, at what stage was the picture taken um, since um, it is said that um, it is accused number four that is depicted in that picture. I don't have a knowledge of all that. I'm going to repeat the question again for your benefit. The question yes. that I've posed to you is, you tell what the brother, the alleged brother of accused number four, where was he when that photo? At page 47 of Exhibit S was taken by the woman do it. Ube will pick a umtogo, low over to other um for a manga that always seen it. Gave got to tattoo this strong. Ube will pick. Jobang shield with umto villa, Abba villa, Pangani, Ubani, Ukona, or Runga Pambi, Lupam, Wemonto, Nibona is something as Bonai, Nabanting Babona Glass of Stone. Eight would tell me why shoot and no more women and move a guami, name was Kumanga. I have already indicated that. Um, I cannot say who all are on the picture. Um, it's safe to say that I can see the picture. There's uh, people that I can see that are depicted in the picture as to whether were the people in front or behind the vehicle. Um, that I cannot, I cannot say as to who was taking the pictures as well, at what stage, that I cannot say. So you cannot say who was Mtowa, the alleged brother of accused number four when the photo was taken? Now, as, as it is depicted on the picture, uh, the picture depicts four people here, and there were five of us that were occupying um, the vehicle. I don't know where the other one was and what was he doing during the time. Because I will ask you to confine yourself to the questions that I'm posing to you. Time is not with us. Do you know who was the driver of that uh, VW Polo Plane? Um, I do not have the knowledge. I do not have the knowledge of that. I don't know him. Do you know why the vehicle had to park there? We ask what he is his attention to what he learned more to park it up. Where is it? Angnazo. Angnaz. I don't know why this uh, vehicle had to park there. Where were you seated in the vehicle? Gasa gasa moto in Buseli wuku wenye wese pista no. Oman kumbola saya e tops nangeli go left kumbola nangeli night kwenye. If I remember well, on our way to Tops, I was seated on the left-hand side of the rear seat, just next to the uh, door panel of the vehicle. Who were the other occupants of the back seat? Gasemova, <coughs> 
and Kumbul to sustain Ganjan. I cannot, I cannot be sure as to who was seated next to me and the other one that was seated on the far right. I cannot ascertain that. I'm instructed by the accused, that is accused number four, that the person who is wearing a red jacket is Telling Bill on the horn. Telling Bill? Yes, Telling Bill on the horn. Lord, no fucking jacket, but I'm going to go to the scene with Telling Bill on the horn. Okay. Yeah, bro. From that spot where that photo was taken, at page 47 of Exhibit S, where did the motor vehicle proceed to? Oksuga Lanage, Gulinda, and Jehovah, if Velagles is Tombe, a motor, a bomb, a Yagupi, my Sugar. Ning Benodas, which Montes, Kumbula Masuga, as Pumesia, a tops, Gota Masbu as Buyanga Street, the Sambesim and Joba Sambesim, Nanga Hamping Pegut, his may who is trapped as a number banning Angans, my nota log, Sasambach, my bay, my banny bay, Camilla, Siamach. Now, um, when when we were on our way to Tops, I remember that we were together. We uh, we drove from wherever we were, we were initially, and then we drove to Tops. But upon our return, the vehicle was uh, stopping at uh, several stops. At times, others would allow the vehicle to go and urinate, and um, so I was not uh, recording um, particular spots that we would stop at on our way back from Tops. But did you eventually return to Foster's hostel? Precisely so we went back there. At what time did you arrive? Nothing on Banskati, it was then. Nang Zungwas was ten past four, Sisyama, Sisyang and hostel ten past four, Nanga Nan does not I cannot give you the exact time as to what time um, we uh, return to the hostel or what time we would stop at a particular spot. I cannot say that it was 10 past 4 or just give you an exact time. I can't. I'm instructed by accused number 4, Mr. Mapisa, that when that photo at page 9 of Exhibit S was taken. He was head sprayed in Gatleho, Mazibugo Hostel. I would not I would not comment on that um, photograph because I don't know where they were at at the time that picture was taken. Is it correct that in your evidence in chief you told this court that you have 12 years of experience in the Safkan Police Service? Ngabe ilo kwa uchele nkandolo, nge nkatu mchuse kubuzi mbuzo, uti une speedi one seven yage u 12, ui polisa. Yebo? Yes. Is it also correct that you told this court that on the 26th of October 2014, you were on duty? Watch a light in Candolo, you can use a local eight to six October of twenty fourteen. Obo some seven zin. Yeah, Bongang some seven zin. Yes, I was on duty. Jabang shooting up my ailing, I call. As I have indicated, I knocked off early. Walk my ailing. I knocked off. Don't prejudge the questions that I'm, I'm asking you. As seemingly, you are distracting me from my cross examination. Please, uh, I've asked you earlier to stick to the questions that I'm asking you. Please. Challenge a Gulemi Buzo Buzoyona. I don't see anything wrong there. The witness is asked as to whether he was on, on duty. He says yes, but he knocked off early to, you know, to go to the first lawyer's hostel. There's nothing wrong with it. I seem to be distracted when, when the witness... I mean, answer here, which he gives that uh, he knocked off early... He was at work, he knocked off early, and then he went to the hostel. 
Uh, I have him ask my, my lord about him knocking early and knocking off early and going to the hostel. Maybe I was still going to ask that question. Well, hence, I'm asking him to confine himself to the questions that I'm asking him. So what, what was your question? question? <laughs> Which he didn't confine himself to answer it? What was your question? I asked him, my lord, whether on the 26th of October 2014 he was on duty. Mm. Yes. And then he said yes, he was. But he knocked off early. So what's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with that answer. Sorry, proceed. At what time of the day did you resume your duties on the 26th of October 2014? We are at October 2014. Then I'm 18, 17. 18. I resumed my duty on my duties on uh, at 8 o'clock in the morning on the day in question. <clears throat> When were you going to knock off Jyoti on that day? That is the 26th of October 2014. It depends on the uh, time you were going to be on duty. Uh, when were you going to knock off Jyoti? Uh, when were you going to knock off Jyoti? Uh, when your, your, your times, you resume your duties at 8. As you have said. I mean, normally, you, you resume your duties at 8. Yes, and when are you supposed to knock off duty? On the 26th of October 2014. Um, it, um, it, would, it would depend on the event or the activities of the day, because it was on a Sunday. Even at 11 a.m., I would, I would still uh, knock off from duty. So it would depend as to what is it that I was doing on that day in question. What duties were you doing? I was doing part of um, the police duties. What duties were those? I was attending the event. Being attending the event. Mm -hmm. I was what? attending the event. I was attending the event. What events? What events? EAP event. What events? What events? What events? It is, it is the part of the work that I was actually deployed to or sent to. If I remember well, it was at a, a sporting facility um, where I was supposed to be a part of uh, that event. What was happening there? We crime prevention. There was a uh, crime prevention uh, uh, function. When it started? Uh, um, I wouldn't know the exact time that it started. With. I wouldn't know the exact time that it started with. Um, it could have been about eight o'clock, um, but um, I started at the station at eight o'clock, and then I went to that event. At what time did you arrive at the event? I cannot remember the time, but if my memory served me well, it was still in the morning. At what time did you leave the event? At what time did you think it was about 12 because um, it was uh, finished or done uh, early. And Wasuga Waya Station, Waya From there, I proceeded to the uh, police station and then I subsequently went to my home. Under which unit are you affiliated? Or seven and a pound where you need? Yes, at that yeah. time, on the 26th yeah. of October, Social 2014. Crime prevention. Social Crime Prevention Unit. Is it also correct that on that day, the 26th of October 2014, you have allocated the state motor vehicle 
Jay 26 October 2014 one is why motor yomsebenzi. Yebo. That is correct. Yes. Who was your supervisor? Supervisor wako bago bani. Or your commander? Bani commander wako bago bani commander wako mane soskati. A rollover commander. It was a rollover commander. Or kunanga commander was in charge. My supervisor. Oh, that was a question. Or are you referring to? Um, my supervisor that was uh, directly in charge of my duties? Yes. It's a person directly in charge it of was, duties. It was Captain D4. So, from, from the event which was held at the sport ground, you said you returned to the police station. What you were at Pindar Konapana, a police station, to a layer event, it is a sports ground. Man, come back at the Ebo, your drop is in his intense swing swing as a station. Yes, if I remember well, to go and drop off some items that I initially took from the uh, station. From the police station, where did you go to? Oh, so the police station, as we are here. Yeah? Even, even, even what I mean is that even though I cannot tell as to um, whether I went straight to home or perhaps I went to a, a shop before I could go home, but what I know that I had to go to a fossil rest after I have been at my at my house. Is it correct that in your evidence in chief you told this court that Kwabeni had informed you of a person by the names of Makosonge that you were supposed to pick up at Johannesburg and you found Makosonge at Carlton Center in Johannesburg? Yes. From there, your evidence in chief is to the effect that you then proceeded to First Norris Hostel. Yes. This vehicle that was allocated to you, for which duties were you supposed to conduct using that vehicle? Yes. The very same um, activity or duties um, that I had uh, performed on the day in question when I had gone to attend the event, because this was the vehicle that was given to me so that I can attend that event. <coughs> Were you authorized to travel with that vehicle to Johannesburg in Canton Center to pick up Makosonge? I had the authority to drive with this vehicle. Is it also correct that Makosonke is not a member of the South Kent Police uh, Service? He's oui. a private person. Oui, Are you allowed then to use the state motor vehicle to carry private person? We can so get over to Makosonke at Lone Poisa, a go Munton Jawan Pagati, Gantu Kunyazi, where he would take a Uyo Tatumunto Milona, a poisa, Conrapan, Tatumakosonke. Jobas and Shilin Sabins are my uncle Yaz, which in Navas of Tata Omonia Montu, footing for Melegi, Lulasha Omonia Montu, and Lumadam Denman. Now, as I have already said, that I am authorized to can pick up a person or any other person. Uh, even if they are not uh, SAPS, as long as the person is uh, the member of my family. In your experience, Constable, as a member in the South Kent Police Services, have you effected arrests? <laughs> yes. A lot of them.
Is it also correct, Constable, that you, that is yourself, being a member in the South African Police Services, you execute your duties without any fear, favor, and prejudice? We now get uh, and Jay and we are was good ones on sevens the Gelapanty, It is my duties, yes. Constable, there, there are provisions in the Criminal Procedure Act 51 of 1977. It is your Bible. You are supposed to know these provisions by heart. Yeah, but now let me ban the law the Criminal Procedures Act of 51 1977. We by the I'm, I'm going to refer to these provisions for the benefit, for your benefit. It deals with the arrest by peace officers without warrant. The relevant proviso for this uh, cross examination is going to be section 40, subsection 1 in bracket, small letter A in bracket, and small letter H in bracket. So those are the only provisions that I'll be referring to for purposes of this cross-examination. Sure, yes, so Mr. Sage, let me bandele kamera kuna la pana gwe section 40, subsection 1, e paragraph A, no paragraph H. Ya leo ge mi bandela e kamwe kona la paya na kule ya CPA act. Yes, Ogale. Yes, Ogale. Understood. I'm going to read the section verbatim. Section 40, subsection 1 in bracket provides as follows: A peace officer may, without warrant, arrest any person (small letter A in bracket) who commits or attempts to commit any offence. In his presence, a peace officer who shall log a number of page or monto or when Zaga organ your own umteto organ your ozama no uguenka umteto gain cati and a acorn a corner lapo une lungelo gelogote and gambo palom. Yagoza lock. Clearly, I can hear that. Small letter H in bracket reads as follows Who is reasonably suspected <coughs> of committing or having committed an offence under any law governing the making, supply, possession, or conveyance of intoxicating liquor, or of dependence producing drugs, or in possession or disposal of arms or ammunition. Close quotation. Should get a long yellow neck, going a lumbo for Munto Jalo, or go Yanaga, Umuntu, Oza, Manoma, Owenza, Loguenza, Mthambe, Uber, we are Kikuisa, U Tarala Guiana, a pete, E Taramiza, Oganege, a seven sege, a ne Kali, when you have his as onage, a Kali, Ogne, a cousin between Yabuza Loko. I can hear that. Constable, your evidence in chief is to the effect that you had knowledge that Gwabeni had used a firearm to shot at Snako. You confirm that? When I get Ugango first back over, um, Ubuguas, Ugabeni, Ube Pete is Pamu, um, a certain to say, um, <coughs> As I have already said, that um, the firearm that he had, uh, had used, I had the knowledge of that firearm, but as to how he uses that firearm to whom, that is information that I was not privy to or I didn't have knowledge of. 
is it also correct that you refer to the accused, that is accused number four, as one of his in God? Um, yes. I had never articulated the, uh, the name or the word Ngabi. Is it also correct that you had knowledge that accused number one was involved in drugs? Uh, yes, I knew about it and uh, from him. That knowledge came from him. Irrespective of where it came from, but you had knowledge that he was dealing in drugs. Obvious message Now it is obvious that after he had related to you that um, he had been arrested for such and such an offence, you end up having that knowledge. Is it also correct that you told this court that upon entering in the bedroom, you found accused number? Three in possession of a firearm. Yes. Yes. What type of a firearm was that? Obe pete is per nine millimeter. It was a nine millimeter. You also mentioned that there was. A point thirty-eight pistol. Oh yeah, point thirty-eight pistol. Yes. Who was in possession of a point thirty-eight pistol? When I got there, Muzi gave it to Guabini. Constable, I've highlighted to you the provisions of the Criminal Procedure Act. In particular, Section 40 of the CPA. Having had yes. or have this knowledge, did you do anything? Sorry, no. I've heard this call. Are you aware that? Uh, <coughs> A witness like him is not obliged to answer incriminating questions. It's criminal law one. In, in terms of the Constitution? Yes. Section 35? That's it. It's not, it's not, it's not obliged. No. The policeman no. finds, and then if he hasn't arrested a person, if that information can be used to charge him because he has incriminated himself. Do you want to address me on yes, this? Uh, because it was raised on, 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 on some occasion, I think it was Mr. Ramsey Rebelli was asking questions. I had to revisit Section 35 of the Constitution. No, but I'm asking you. What's you? Your counsel now asking yes, the question. Yes. It, it deals with uh, accused, arrested, and detained person. That is Section 35 of the Constitution, not a witness. So a witness can incriminate himself. Hello. Can you bring uh, the toy? So that we know what you are talking about. It's, it's towards the end, eh? witnesses, yes. self incrimination. Mm. Now go to the section of witnesses. What's, yes. uh, what's uh, the end? Uh, I'm on it, my lord. Okay. Uh, It's section 203. What does it say? Witness excused from answering incriminating question. Yeah. It says, no witness in criminal proceedings shall, yes. except as provided by this act or any other law, mm. be compelled to answer any question which he would not, or on the 30th of May 1961, have been compelled to answer by reason that the answer may expose him to a criminal charge. Yes, that's how I understand the law. <clears throat> so, what's your view, Mr. 
Mamalo. I was still paging to the provisions. That now I read it for you. But fortunately, I do have my... Uh, <laughs> my tutorial, uh, if I can quickly... My understanding, my lord, is that uh, I was uh, at uh, liberty to ask him questions because he's the one who raised these issues. So I'm supposed to cross-examine him. So, if, so he can self-incriminate himself, is that what you're saying? Not unless if he says it does not No, but the answer. court, the court, court, this court, this court has yes. to see to it that the law is upheld. Yes. So yes. I can't let a transgression which this witness is asked to walk into without warning him. Of course, I can tell him that if you want to answer that question, you're at liberty to answer it, yes. but you must know your rights that as a witness, yes. you're not a compelable witness to incriminate yourself. Yes. That's what the law says, not me. Yes. I think he can, he can be forewarned before he answers the questions, if he wants to answer the question. Mr. Baloui, just bring that. Because this, that section is clear. I don't, I don't even have a choice. <clears throat> Thank you. halfway through the page, there's a nice explanation as to what the position is. On the next page, paragraph? Just in the middle. Three, for instance, it says... In the middle of the page, there's a reference to a case. Is that the state versus yes. Wade and Bosman? Uh, I think so, just in the middle of the... Okay, but you see, paragraph three says, the privilege against self con incrimination falls away only in respect of the specified offense and the relevant competent finding. If the prosecutor does not specify any of the offense, the privilege remains in place to the full extent. Once an offense has been specified, the privilege can only be claimed in respect of another offense. And then five, six, it says, someone who wants to invoke the privilege against self-incrimination may not refuse to be sworn in and may only invoke the privilege when the answer to a particular question can incriminate him or her. Then they quote the case of uh, R versus Hitt, 1937. And then, of course, the other one. Is that, is that what you're referring to, sir? You, you heard what the law says, not what Rasama Patel says. So they say it's a complete privilege, blanket privilege. I don't even have to warn him, but just for, hello, for your notification, you are not obliged or compelled to answer questions which you believe may incriminate you, because you are the person who's answering. Yes, sir. That option is exercised by you, but by not, but not anybody else, because you, if you incriminate yourself, you shall have been responsible for that self-incrimination. Do you understand that? Yeah, I was a look over I'll put the legal on to come with my people. So do we get a work or look over? Woman, I've been coming with a funaga, a good friend of Limibus or as a was good here. A canine also to an umpire who went on tent. I understand that, my lord. Yes, Mr. Romano, we proceed. So, so do you want to answer this question that I've posed you that uh, you did nothing, it did not affect any arrest? You see, persons exchanging firearms in your presence, you don't do anything, being a police member. We are from Gupendra Rumbus, Nababantu, 
ba exchange i bank na lepana wena uyilunga lepoyisa akho lutho olenzayo awubophi umuntu ngoba ubona nje kwenxa umthetho ngale yondlela uyafuna ukuba iphendula lombuso ngalunga uphendule may i not um, answer that uh, question from the information or knowledge that you had did that information inform you that accused number four that is mr mapisa was present at the scene of uh, the murder of mr mayo on the 26th of october 2014. <laughs> Please try to appreciate the question that I'm asking you. From the knowledge or information that you had, did that knowledge or information inform you that Mr. Mapisa was present where the disease was shot in Phosphorus on the 26th of October 2014? Good yes or no? when he answers it, whatever answer he gives, it becomes direct evidence. Are you with me? Yes, I'm with you. Yes, but be warned. You ask this witness whether from the information he had, does he know whether Mapisa shot Senzo? No, that he was present at the scene. Yeah. That is the question that I'm asking from Information this. which he could have acquired anyway. Yes. That's how, how broad you, you're phrasing it. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Yes. yes. I'm with you. I'm being fair. Yes. So, withdraw that question. Because that hearsay evidence, we could have heard six years thereafter, like Tupac, after 30 years, if you read newspapers, somebody said, yeah, I was there when Tupac was killed in a nightclub in Vegas. And he was arrested and charged with first degree murder. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I've heard about that. That's it. Okay, fine. Yes, Mr. Romano? The, the, this information or the source of this information or knowledge, were you the source of this information or somebody else informed you about what you are telling this court? I want to tell you that the information is coming up with the information that we have to do with the information that we have to do with. Firstly, where the keys are concerned, this is not information that was related to me pertaining the keys. He is the one that gave me the keys himself. No, any other person told me that he actually gave me the keys. When you were traveling in this state, much of the were you traveling alone, or there was another police officer who was booked with you to use the vehicle when you were attending the event at the sports field? Maoya, the event at the sports field, we were talking about the young boys. 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 I was alone. When we were proceeding to Johannesburg at the Carlton Centre and thereafter to Fosterers Hostel, did you complete the vehicle register? Why to register a vehicle register in Katige, Uya, a Carlton Center, Uxua Lapoge, was a Suya, a Fosloris? Why to register? But once again, we are back to section 203. Yeah, it's an offense for the police officer to drive a vehicle without annotating in the motor vehicle register his destination from where to where and annotating the number of kilometers.
Ah, that's self-incrimination. Yes. That's what mm -hmm. we're discussing. So why do you repeat? So you can answer. Yeah. Hello. You can answer the question. You can answer the question. No, but the doctor says it's not compatible. Okay. If he doesn't answer. At what time of the day did the accused number four arrive at the hostel? That is Fosterer's hostel. Oh, man, God, the way the wife and Obama is cut from the Obama hostel. I'm not a staff from Obama is cut. I'm born and is cut. He's saying he's okay. He was a problem late. What do you think I mean? No, my friend, I'm Obama. He's cut from Kumbula Maso. He doesn't say he's okay. The only time that I can remember is um, the time that he handed over the key to me. As to whether he arrived early or late at the hostel, I don't have such knowledge with me. But that cannot be correct because your evidence in chief is that the first time that you saw accused number four was when he entered the bedroom with accused number five. Actually, it's okay. Ogu ya ngo pfaga zwa buzwa bona ogani owa niye zangi kati um um shuse buzi mbuzo wa bono manga lelo we startu no manga lelo we slanu benga na we poitu. Didn't you say that in your evidence in chief? Wa ngo shono ko we evidence in chief ya. Ogu mbona ba mingi zwenga tumtampe ngazi na mangu zwanga kati zuma ut wa figa ngo bani skat shoot bo zamu tu afya ni ni hosta na ugu tu afya ni no mai kona min no mai ngi kemi ni ane ngazi tu afya ngo bani skat. If I heard your question clearly, you asked about the time. As to what time he arrived, whether he arrived early or late, that is something that I cannot confirm. Safe to say that at the time or at the stage that he gave me the key, I was then able to communicate with him. At the time when he gave you the keys, had he been introduced to you by Gwaben? Ge katik nigeza iki obese seke introduce obuwe u Gwaben? Ibisi peli le yonke i uma ukalo introduction be inzu emin na kona ma ibu ibu ile waham agubega nje kutu wa uko sa ukiye ma beham umanga challenge. That introduction that introduction had taken place in the day already, and then there was stage that he went away and then came back. And let, let me put it clearly, he forgot the key to Waukosu key. Based, based on my judgment, he forgot the key because he was uh, then phone called at the time that the key was now needed. Now, um, uh, how I observed it, he wasn't supposed to have given me the key, he was supposed to have given it to Gwabini. Maybe, let me ask the question the other way around. When Gwabeni introduced accused number four to you, where was accused number four in Gwaben? Gekati u Gwabeni ge introduce our umanga delo we sin gwe na babe go upi simu diye u Gwabeni na ye umanga delo we sin. That's the hostel. We were at the hostel. Where exactly at the hostel? Go upi kati kati e hostel. Go e pinda unga paga te hostel ogani e hostel. Going to a pagat, you introduction here in the ring a pagat in the open space. Umtanga mas, my feel it up and bona lap just the banana in that. No, I think inside, inside of the hostel, in an open space, whoever that had come uh, there, which I didn't know, they were also there in that open space in the hostel. Did that introduction took place at the time when you arrived or it took place later? Leo introduction in the running and got to figure out when you ever was cut in Sufi. But I cannot say that this one in particular was introduced at four and that one at five or at one o'clock. At the bedroom, that is the bedroom of Gwaben where we had kept your bag, was that bedroom locked? E petunga e kwabini la uye wabega e peke yako kona iai vado kwenye iki iwe. Iki iwa? Iki iwa uye mne la zwayo? Yes, it was locked. It was locked by the owner of that bedroom. You also mentioned that in your evidence in chief that there was a meeting in the bedroom. Who was there in the bedroom? Utege kwa kona ke umsa unwa wako na kona lapo e gile lukumbi luglana. Kwa kona ba nubane nga gile lukumbi luglana. Uman befiga wafia akis number one, number two, number three. Sating sakuluma. Upon arrival, 
It was accused number one, two, and three that had arrived. Now, as I was busy talking, then accused number uh, four and five, they were in each other's company. They then arrived. <laughs> You told this court that you were asked to leave. Uh, that, that is correct. How long did the meeting last, approximately? Meeting I cannot estimate the time um, because they um, then uh, walked out. There was a stage where they would just walked out. At the time when there was a meeting in the bedroom, was the door closed or open? <laughs> the door <laughs> bedroom. of the bedroom. Gabe e the bedroom. I cannot, I cannot confirm that because I had already exited the bedroom. Whether the uh, bedroom door was closed or locked or it was just closed without locking, that I cannot confirm because I had already left. So you exited the house completely? Or you remain in the kitchen? I exited the bedroom and went to the main hall. You stood at the main door? Main hall. Oh, main hall. Exited the bedroom and then went to the main hall. So you cannot say whether the bedroom uh, door was uh, closed or it was open. Uh, I cannot confirm whether the door was locked. But my figure. My figure. That is what I remember. My figure. Uh, came came in and then um, walked into that uh, that bedroom, and I'm referring to accused number two. Could you hear what they were talking about? Uh, as they had uh, apologized, I cannot tell what uh, I, I couldn't hear what they were talking about. I mean, from where you were standing, could you hear what they were talking about? I, I did not. I did not want to hear what they were talking about because they have asked me um, to leave, and and I did so. So I I didn't go to the door to go and eavesdrop to hear what they were talking about. Did you see any cell phone there before you exited the bedroom? Ngabe kona e cell phone eti zogwe wa ibona ngubwa upume gule bedroom. Nibona gupi pants imshampe. Where about perhaps on the floor or where? No, in the bedroom. Did you see any cell phone? Ngabe gule bedroom. Ngabe kona e cell phone wa ibona. I am man as the cell phone. I don't have any knowledge of a cell phone. Do you know whether in the bedroom? If any of the accused were in possession of cell phones, Ngabe uyagwazi lokho ukuthi khona lapha yena ngakule bedroom eh omnyaka omangalelo kanye. Waye khona umuntu kulabo omangalelo ayephetha i cell phone kuye no. Ngiyengibe indolwazi lokho ngibaseshanga. I wouldn't have a knowledge to that effect because I didn't search them. I'm instructed by the accused that he was not at the hostel on the 26th of October, 2014. October, 2014. I personally saw him. Further, he gave me the key to the vehicle. I'm further instructed by the accused that at no stage on the 24th of October 2014 at the hostel, that is Foster's hostel, entered the bedroom of Kwabeni in the company of accused number five. 
Otege as Asiko Iska at Nomiskaba on the 26th of October. October. Day 26th of October. October. Accused number 5. 2014. Eh, Hamba na ye umangalela Westland. Ushonja lo ye umangalela Westi. That's a lie. He was there because there he was able to give me the keys. I'm further instructed by accused number four, Mr. Mapisa, that at no stage on the 26th of October 2014, he was in the company of accused number one, two, three, and five at First Laura's hostel. What is a lie? As he called his car to me, 26th of October 2014, Lawai, Tolakwana, is a hammer in Mongolia, or West Town, Kwanza Pane Postle. Mawutu among a law, Miss Wilkinson, Tombatum Compisa, so a long chance to wheel up on 26th in Arcus number three. And as good if he says that uh, that is a lie, there is a photograph that you referred me to. Um, and that um, photograph has to do with um, that photograph has to uh, do with the 26th of uh, October 2014, where accused number four, together with accused number three, are depicted in that uh, picture. And that picture I'm talking about is 47. I was referring to the hostel. It denies being in the company of accused number three. Being accused number one, two, three, and five. 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 Being at the hostel, he gave me the key. Personally, he gave me the key. After the event, they left. They left um, because he was then later on phone called because it appeared that he had left with the key. And then they came back and brought the key. I just want to go to your statement, the statement that you made some approximately nine years later, on the 31st of May 2023. There is a paragraph that is of interest. Maybe God bear with me, my lord. I'm just going through this paragraph. Yes. My lord, it is on page one, two, three, paragraph seven of the witness's statement. Paragraph 7 of your statement, the statement that you made on the 31st of May 2023 at 1300 hours, reads as follows, and I quote, After a few minutes, Mtogozi Senma Pisa came and gave me back the vehicle key. He apologized and left. I still do not know when, how, and why was my key taken out of my bag. I left with Mozi, Ntogo, and the other guy I do not know. We have one local uh, one we have paragraph seven, it is a fundable accused Kubagos was wrote to you. Eva Mamis was in Bala, Umto, Mtogo, Ziseni, Mapisa, Wasege, Uyeza, Wang, Gazage, Eki, Wipe, and Selagimina Forty. 
wasige uya kuli semba lokoge wasu ya hamba. Um, angazi ge um, wuti uh, lokoge nzega ni ni nomagan jani. Wuti si zatu kwa ba isi pi so wuti ge um, guta tuge iki za mizikisho kuna lapana epe kini. Emba wa lokoge uh, nga hamba uh, nomuzi nuntogo wo. Nalo uh, umunyu mlisa nga mazi. Yagwana loko? Yebo. I dropped, I dropped off Muzi along the road just outside Kwabeni's place and not far from where I dropped off Muzi, the other guy alighted. I dropped off Mtogo at engine fuel station, modern Fontaine. I then went home, close quotation. Gase, mkisa loyana ke umuzi kuna lapana e ngelinu kwenye mkakweni ngapanzi jegwe umuzi uganye enda wanda sala kuna ke u Kwabeni. Gwagme bute ge ukamga na lage nga ngeli sisi kona umuzi kona kasi ngeli sana loya ge umunye umli ogani loya umli sasa ge wase na yego ya pumi mupe ngeli sasa ge umtogo kona lapana engine fuel station ese model fontaine enva waloko ge kasi ngi hamba ge ka. The umtogo is the same piece of that you refer to in paragraph seven. Is it accused number four before court? We um told the cinema piece. We could manage it. Then we paragraph seven. And Gabe, we managed to see the corner in control. Yebo. Yes. Was that the name that was? He was introduced to you by Kwaben. Gabe, you don't come here. Oh, I'm told you when. Oh, Kwaben. He came in as a string in touch. Oh, he in Zagoye. Oh, in Zagoban. Oh, Kwaben. This is the name that I took from Kwaben. Yes. Just to refresh on this, you, you said you did not know accused number four before the 26th of October 2014. It was the first time that you met him when he was introduced to you by Kwaben. Yes, I uh, knew him clearly on the 26th uh, of uh, October, that is on that day, yes. When accused number four returned the keys to you, did he tell you where he got the keys from? Uh, the keys from? Um, I can tell you. I can tell you. I can tell you. He did not wabong. Yebo, wapapat. He did not. He did not really tell me where he got the keys from. He just came to me and um, just wapapat. When I look papat, I get put. What police? Should not have done something. I think so. Your your lordship, I was uh, just trying to understand papat. <laughs> Whether it was uh, to apologize or um, to be grateful, but yeah. he just he just um, sort of um, slapped his hand like that. Um, Did you ask him where he got them from? <laughs> These were you? not just ordinary keys; they were the keys belonging to the state vehicle. Did you ask him? Um, there was no need. He apologized and also. Um, showed um, his, his gratefulness or perhaps uh, yeah he apologized uh, yes, I so do there was no need yes I do understand that but you have been looking for these keys some people were found to locate the keys and all of a sudden accused number four appears he apologized for having taken the keys did you ask him where he had taken the, the car keys from Wambuza, Wambuza, Lezi, keys, emoto, white, atagupi. We told you, we are planning. We are just going to have to have a phone call. Um, Ganti, eight to nine, we are going to be here. We let the Zoe keep going. As long as we are going to be here, we are going to be here. 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 We are going there was no need because Wabinet had already phone called him to say that he should bring the keys. 
and um, he took the keys and he went wherever or used it wherever he wanted to use the key but eventually he brought the key and I took the key and I said now I have to go how did he arrive there on his return did he arrive on foot or he was traveling in a motor vehicle well, um, I would not want to estimate or perhaps guess as to where he was. I know that he was away or he was far away, but I cannot, I cannot then speak on his behalf as to um, whether he used a vehicle or he walked because I was inside of the hostel uh, during the time of his arrival. Is it also correct that you told this court that you also inspected the bag to check if the firearm, the state firearm, was there? In the government of the Uturia was such a good bag, a Yakoga Utensegi Saga Utis Pansom Zabenzi, Sise Corona and the Gleo Peg. I'm to take the woman of the Te, his Pamas Tatabu Pabino and Lizan Apagati, the Nagas Hostagimi, and the Swarang Peggy. I am not confused about that. I said that. Um, the firearm, I took it from Guabeni, he gave it to me, and then I uh, holstered it uh, in my possession. The vehicle keys remain in the bag. The keys are not 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 in the bag. I knew that they were inside of the bag. Where was this bag? It was inside of uh, Kwabeni's room. I'm instructed by accused number four, Mr. Mapisa, that he's going to deny your evidence, this piece of evidence, that later he returned to you, to where you were, at oh. First Laura's hostel, and apologize for having left with the keys. He was not there at all on the 26th of October 2014. <laughs> The person that you make reference to as Mtogo, is it in that paragraph, that is paragraph 7 of your statement, is that the brother you referred to as the brother of accused number 4? Paragraph 7. That is the very person um, that I was referring to. I heard it from him that he is not from uh, from Ban. Or I actually heard it from you that he wasn't the brother to accuse number four. But that is, that is the person that I was referring to. For purposes of my cross-examination, I wish also to go through the statement at length. That is the statement of this witness. Yeah. I see it is 25 past 3 in the afternoon. We are okay. only left with 5 minutes. I'll request that the, the, the matter be rolled over until tomorrow okay. for further cross-examination. Thank you. Mr. Bapisa, I'm in uh, Baloy. There was a photo referred to by Council for Accused Number 3, which is on page 91, depicting the red vehicle. Uh, just before we adjourn, can we also hand it up as part of Exhibit um, S?
Remember it.